Savvies. How are you? Joanna here, creator and founder of Savage Chic Design. And I'm so excited to actually bring you a new training that has to do with video masking. So you might have been seeing this one or you might have seen some of this type of effect and you can actually do this one in Canva. Isn't that amazing? So let's go ahead and dive right in and start with this training. All right. So very, the very first thing is that we are going to use the 1080 by 1080, which is an Instagram post and a Facebook Facebook post that I standard use and here's another example that I actually posted for the 4th of July by the way for those of you who are or celebrated this one in the US happy 4th of July as well and another thing that we are then going to be using is we are gonna go to elements section we're gonna type in phone and it will actually give us all of those illustration and also this type of phone which is like a frame that has the phone in it so we can actually insert some images or we can actually insert some videos so I'm just gonna expand this one and if you can see here anything that you can see like this button you can actually change the border of this element so this is the beauty of having a Canva Pro so if you don't have yet a Canva Pro make sure to use my link um, as a disclaimer this is an affiliate link I just get a tiny commission for every one of you who sign up so that I keep on continue doing this amazing trainings right okay so next thing is that I'm just gonna duplicate this one for three times and I'm gonna put it like in columns so side by side I'm gonna highlight everything so that I can resize each of them in the same size <laughs> basically and, and now I'm gonna go to the video. Now there might be some things that you might have seen this one, but this has been rolled out already for um, Canva user, right? So just make sure that you have either Canva Pro or Canva for free. Um, do check this one out. Now I want to look for a video that actually has more of a horizontal look that it goes move towards left to right or right to left so that you can really see the image moving from left to right right so just like one of our example as well so that you can really see that there is a transition so maybe this fish or maybe not let's go ahead and look for this one and i'm actually looking for swimming but I know I'm looking for a turtle. I kind of see, I'm just wondering like, hey, maybe you can find something that is much more nicer. So let me just type in swimming turtle. I know they all swim or maybe not. <laughs> just make sure, right? So I've selected this particular turtle because as you can see here, if I click on play, it is actually moving from right to left, right? And what I'm gonna do, if you see here, that every time I move it, it goes inside a frame. So I wanna lock the mobile. Um, the mobile phone phone's asset or element so that it won't um, do anything right so so think of it this way when you are designing this masking of video so this is basically the whole image right so how we're gonna position and that you're just gonna envision that you're gonna divide it into three that will represent three of the phones that we have in our design. So now I'm gonna do the first one on the right. I'm gonna be doing it more towards the back side. So as you can see here, right? So you can see if you're kind of just like, all right, so that's good. Next, I'm gonna copy it again. Now, since I locked the phone, I can't insert the video. I need to unlock it. And put it inside now I'm gonna be focused more towards the middle of the video so good thing is that when I moved it it kind of just grabbed that middle side of the video right so make sure you do that one and the next is that going to be the far end we're in it was just like the C so you see how you see the transparent and where the head is is towards the middle and when I kind of just you kind of just want to place it all together that you can see where it is so I'm gonna click on play and that is just how simple it is, right? So now I can click on play and you see how it looks like they're going through the, um, they're going through the image or the element or of the phone. So you need to take note of that one. Um, the reason for that actually is um, we are trying to position each of the video as if they are going through because once you play it, it really just looks like one whole video, 
right? So that is the one thing that I really love about this um, about this feature right now. So that you can play around and there's a lot of other possibilities that you can really do. So what I'm gonna do right now is just put a little bit of a background. Um, let's try to see how we can actually work that one out and some basic elements. Maybe I'm gonna add, uh, maybe I'm thinking about sand or maybe thinking about different elements and how that looks, right? So. Maybe just move it around a little bit and let's just try this one. All right, so I'm gonna be adding the text first and I'm gonna add a text, let's skip swimming. I mean, Finding Dory is one of my favorite like cartoon, Disney cartoon. And then if you already have the text effect, you can surely use that one that is starting to be rolled out. And now we are going to just select, maybe just like I mentioned, maybe sand or maybe something of a background that would really be nice. Like any other thing, right? I always share with you all that when you are designing, you wanna make sure that it it's cohesive to all the things that you're doing, the text, the imaging, the imagery, right? And what you are um, really posting or designing or creating. So let's go ahead and finish this one now.